All right, this is your financial plan from start to finish. Remember, pause after each step if you need to. Just make sure that you have all the steps done. At the very beginning, what you're going to do is access the template for the personal financial plan. And when you do that, it's already all set up for you in sections. You can use the left side outline to navigate all through the document and you'll see that each um, section is not complete. So that's what's gonna happen all during the semester. You've had the opportunity or you will now to receive the pieces of information to put into each of these sections. So at the end, you'll have a complete financial planning document. Let's go over each section. The first part is about your SMART goals. So uh, then you'll have the taxes, the budgeting, credit and debt, spending, followed by investing, future financing and insurance. And we're gonna sneak in the emergency fund in the insurance section, or you can put it in budget and saving. So when we start with the SMART goals, you'll be able to watch the video to remind yourself about completing the SMART goal activity. You can also revisit the performance task from the first module for that information. And there's goal setting information in module one, money management. The second component will be the employment and tax taxes section. So you were to fill in important tax dates, forms, and three tax savings goals. Next up, planning a budget in this particular pop-up document, you received both tables to be able to copy and paste into your document. So if you have them in a, another separate file, just move them in so they become part of your complete file. Remember, you're putting your expenditures, your expenses at the top, and then you're sorting them into the 50, 30, 20 budgeting category, whether they're needs, wants, or savings and um, for the future. So that's all for the budgeting. Next up, credit and debt. In this one, you can copy and paste the information, making sure that you fill in your plans to build credit um, as you are becoming a graduate from high school and moving on to post-secondary life. So, I mean, uh, part five is the spending section. Part five, you're going to copy in and complete the Consumer Bill of Rights. You're just going to copy this information, paste it into your document, and then fill in that Consumer Bill of Rights, which you will find in the Spending Performance Task. And then see, so you'll paste it right into this section, and then you'll have that section completed on your final document. Next up, future financing. So in this module, we learned about... Um, kinds of different ways that you might be planning for your future. And Next up, investing for your future. And when it comes to investing, you want to make sure that you know the different terms and the pros and cons of each. Often that has to do with the amount of return or the tax savings or tax benefits. Part eight, insurance. You're going to make sure to bust those myths on the left column and then put in the actual information in the right hand column for factual information. In the emergency fund planning section, you're going to put in your three tips for the emergency fund and you can find those throughout the unit and there are many different resources online about the emergency fund planning. In the end, you'll have one complete file, which can be exported to a PDF, um, and we'll talk about what you can do after that. But please make sure that all your information is complete, including your name. Go back over each section and make sure that you've completed the required components so that you'll be able to earn the top score for this completed assignment.